Just want to say, before we get into this video today, remember to like and subscribe, it really helps out the channel a lot, and don't forget to hit the bell icon, I upload daily, and you don't want to miss a Minecraft video. Alright guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to get custom texture packs in Minecraft Java 1.16, and there's nothing you're going to need to install, nothing extra, except for one thing, but everything else that you need, you probably already have. The first thing you're going to need is obviously Minecraft Java Edition. If you don't have this, then you won't be able to, you know, use your texture back. Next thing you're going to need is Paint 3D. It's something that you probably already have on your computer. If not, you can install it. Next thing you're going to need to do is go on 7zip.org, link in the description, and install it. Okay, now that we have everything we need, we're simply just going to go into our files, go to Documents, right click open space new folder then I'm just going to name it test for now you guys can name it whatever you want then once you have the folder you're gonna exit out of this you're gonna go to your little search bar in the bottom and you're gonna type in run and open run then you need to type in percent sign app data percent sign and click OK then you need to find .minecraft, double click it, go to versions, and then 1.16.4, then right here you'll have a .json and a java file. You're just going to right click the java file, then click copy. Now go to your documents, go to that test, or go to that folder that you're making your texture pack, paste this in, then right click it, or click, right click it, 7-zip extract here. Okay, now that it's done extracting, you're going to have all of these files. You can scroll down forever. We only need one folder. So you're just going to uh, control A, then control click assets to deselect it, right click the highlighted area, and just click delete. Okay, everything is in deleting. Now all we have is the assets. There's two quick things that we need to attach to get this to actually show up as a viable resource pack in Minecraft. First thing we're going to need is some code in a text document. Now, this is the only code you're going to need, and it's very, very simple. I'll have a uh, I'll have this code so you can copy it in the description. So if I just edit this text document, here's the code right here. So it's pack pack format and description my resource pack now the pack format is depending on the version if you're 1.8.9 you do one but we're in 1.16.4 so we'll just do six that is the pack format for 1.16.4 and just file save as you need to make sure that you do this you need to uh, t change the save type to all files delete this it has to be named pack.mc meta now that you have this just click save and it will save right here then you can delete this text file there's one more thing that we're going to need for the pack to show up we're going to need a uh, picture a picture for the little pop-up thing to select it so we're just gonna make a new thing in paint 3d we're going to select crop and we're going to make the pixel or the resolution 128 by 128 we'll lock it and then done this is the size that minecraft uses this is the size you're going to want to make your picture you can upload a 128 by 128 picture or you can make your own we're just going to keep it simple for this video and we're just going to do something like this there <laughs> there there we go so this is simple and easy you don't need to do too much now make sure you save as image and we're going to head to documents the test and then it's already PNG so we have to mess with that and just name it pack you have to name it pack or else it will not work don't save now we have pack dancing meta in our pack we have everything we need to have a resource pack but what we need to do is actually change something so you go to assets minecraft textures now everything here you can change so let's you know go to block let's search for 
diamond. Diamond block and diamond ore. Let's just change the diamond door. So if you double click it, it'll open it up and then you can control and then zoom on in. And this is what you know the diamond block texture looks like. But we're gonna change it, so you're gonna right click the file, open with paint 3D. Now you can just scroll in and change it. So I'm just gonna make it so you know that it's changed. Or do just a poorly drawn X right in the middle. And just save. And now, if you double click this, it changed the texture. So now, what we can do is go back to that folder, take all of this, right click, go to 7 zip, and add to archive. And this is a very important thing what you're going to need to do. When you start, uh, when you have 7 zip for the first time, the archive format will be 7D. It has to be zip for it to work. So just change it to zip and then name it whatever you want. So just do my pack. And then you click OK. And it will compress the file. OK. Once the file is uncompressing, you will have a zip file right there named what you named it. What you're simply going to need to do is you can uh, copy it, exit out of here, open run, app data, dot minecraft resource packs paste it now open up minecraft java 1.16.4 doesn't matter if you're running optifine or forge or anything as long as it's 1.16.4 this pack should work it should work in all 1.16 versions for that matter so we'll load up minecraft And then we'll go to options, resource packs. Oh, this isn't the pack. So the pack that we made is this one. My, we need my pack and it has the same picture. So just turn it on. Done. Now read this. I just click done. Now 1.16 for some reason, uh, you actually have to change the panorama or else it will just default to this gray thing. Which, it's fine, it's not going to affect anything in-game. So we'll go to a testing world. Move forward to load. Okay, now we're in a testing world. What we'll do is we'll search for diamond block. And there you go, as you can see, the texture is changed. To this, this weird X thing. Oh, I have auto jump on, that's bad. So yeah, you guys can change basically anything. You can do whatever you want with this and make your own texture packs. And yeah, uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.